It's yeah. 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 And it, and it typically, yeah, it typically hits kids between five and ten. So, yeah, I had no idea. I was like, what? And I had nowhere to get us. I know. So, David, were your ears ringing today? Bear Charles. Bear gave him some milk this morning. Tell him he shows that he helped his girl. Oh. Some of the expenses related to the floor. Yeah. She got enough, yeah. didn't she? No, she didn't win. That's when you get the floor. Yeah. We all going to be all right. Yeah. Shoot, Jim. Yeah. We don't. Well, I'll touch you. Thank you. I'm sorry. I can't. I don't have anything. He knows where it does. He was on the table. He was on the table. Is that what you're saying? Hey, thank you, man. I'm not really cheap. I don't know. Hey, did Rick Carroll call you? No. I promise you, I sent him his, his number and he said he was going to contact you. Yeah, we, we talked about that a little bit. Yeah, I sent him your number that Wednesday and he said he's going to call you. <laughs> no, I'm going to try it. Yeah. 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 Yes, I think we've met before. Haven't you been yeah, here before? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I thought you had. You bet. Yes, I thought you had. Hey, start. Hey, yes. Clay, how you doing? Yes, absolutely. Good evening, everyone. This is our 530 committee meeting. Tonight we have Pafford Medical Services going to give us an update on uh, on their uh, service they provide here in Conway. Clay Cobb is going to speak to us about this. And first of all, before you come up, Clay, first of all, I want to tell you that we are, I, and I can't speak for everybody, but I promise you if they weren't happy, they'd tell me, Paffer's done an exceptional job in Conway, and uh, we appreciate the great job y'all done. But anyway, come on up and speak to the council, please, sir. Well, uh, thank you all so very much for having us here, and we have um, definitely appreciate the trust that you placed in us a year ago today, and I hope that we've come through for you. Um, we believe that our men and women here in Conway and Faulkner County and our leadership team here locally has produced a great product for the city of Conway and we're taking care of the residents this last year. Um, just a few um, milestones we'd like to go over, um, just a few slides today, and staffing is one of them. Um, we have every one of our ambulances staffed every day. We have met and exceeded the staffing expectations that we set forth. Um, we have been a great corporate citizen, sponsoring many events, working with special events and community engagement. Um, Code Sec Days has been a very busy time for us the last <laughs> two uh, years or two uh, occurrences, and it's been great. Our special operations team, which we'll talk to you just a little bit more about, um, in which we're working uh, our strike team with the SWAT team with the Sheriff's Office and Police Department, has been a great um, addition to the community. And then I'm going to talk to you just about our, a few of our key performance indicators and reports and just... Um, Make sure that you guys understand that we've been meeting that expectation that you set forth for us in our contract. Um, on staffing, we have right around 99 personnel, almost 100 personnel that are assigned to Conway that can either work here in a full-time or part-time capacity. So we believe that um, with that staff, that includes EMTs, paramedics, on-duty supervisors, and then our, our managers for this area. So we have a considerable amount of staff, paramedics, um, ODSs, uh, which are on-duty supervisors, um, and staff to respond to ambulance calls. Um, events, we, we've been to pretty much every event you can imagine in Conway and Faulkner County. Um, from Toad Suck Days, the universities, football games, basketball games, um, pre-game work and planning with athletic trainers, the different schools. Um, we've been busy with special <clears throat> events. Conway is a great community that people want to come to for special events and sporting out events, and we're happy to be able to support those and make sure that the attendees are safe when they're, they're here in Conway. 
Um, we've really tried to be a good corporate citizen um, by working with different uh, groups across the community to make sure that we're sponsoring um, events uh, with the high schools, with the colleges, um, providing some scholarships, and then working with Parks and Recreation um, as we uh, as we sponsored the softball teams this year. Our special operations team um, to support law enforcement. Um, we have 10 active members, and it's a combination with um, Conway Fire Department to make sure that we have trained personnel to respond to high-risk situations with our area law enforcement. And that's really been a, a great program that we've been able to add. And not only has it been good for the community here, but it's been good for the communities uh, surrounding Conway and Faulkner County. And it allowed us to attract some people that wanted to be involved in that type of response and medicine to come work for Pafford here in Conway. You talk about response data. Um, we've had about 23,200 responses. Um, our busiest day here was 81 ambulance requests in one day. Um, we're averaging right around 50 to 60 um, ambulance requests a day. Um, this is a very busy EMS system. Um, that totals about 14,454 high priority 911 calls. So that's our highest level. Is that for the entire county? It is. Okay. Yes. Right. And you're going to see, I'm going to break some things down for the county and the city. Sometimes it's hard for us to separate the county from Conway because we share ambulances in one seamless system. And you may have a, an ambulance that came down from Greenbrier and brought a patient down to the hospital, and then they're the next closest to an emergency call here in Conway. So you'll see us kind of um, come across the um, between the city and the county quite often in my, in my presentation today. We know that about 69% of the emergency responses occur between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. and just 31% of our responses occur overnight. Um, the busiest days are those between Monday and Friday, and generally there's very little variation from day to day. Our weekends are our least busy time here in Conway. This page includes data for all priorities and responses, and the data represented on this page is for general information purposes and not really a reference of our month-to-month -month compliant, compliance reports. But you'll notice we have an average um, out of shoot time from January of this year through April 23rd of this year of about two minutes and 13 seconds. And that means after the alarm goes off at the fire station or the ambulance station for a call, we have an ambulance with wheels rolling in two minutes and 13 seconds um, around the clock. We have an average response time countywide of nine minutes and 17 seconds. We're on scene an average of about 10 minutes, and then our transport time to a hospital is about 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes. This is really where I think our partnership with the two hospitals here in Conway is important. Our average hospital drop time is 17 minutes and 37 seconds. That is absolutely phenomenal. Um, we're getting those patients off our stretcher in a timely manner a majority of the time. So generally speaking, when we get a 911 call and the phone rings, it takes us about an hour to complete the mission of every 911 call. From January 1st through um, April 30th, we've had 6,499 responses, and we have transported out of those 911 calls 4,096 patients. Um, 2,400 of those patients chose not to go to the hospital, and we clocked 50,300 miles on our ambulances um, with patients actually on board. So um, our top 10 destinations, 43.3% of our patients went to Conway Regional and 24.8% went to uh, Baptist Health Conway. And we talked to you all last year when we did our presentation, we have no preference of hospital. It's, it's the patient's choice of what hospital they wanna go to. And we try to honor that choice as long as the facility has the bed space available in the emergency department and they're not on diversion. And you can note just some of the other hospitals there, just a very few calls go outside of the city limits. Um, the next slide here. From January 1st through April 30th, um, our average response time was eight minutes and 29 seconds. Um, our number one call for an ambulance uh, was traffic or transportation incidents. Um, which we had an average response time to of five minutes and 45 seconds. 
Um, the next highest priority was breathing problems, followed by falls, unconscious or fainting, and chest pains. So pretty, pretty good um, number of calls for, for medical after the transportation and traffic incidents. In Conway, from January 1st to April 30th, ambulances were on scene for priority one, which is our highest level of life-threatening call in six minutes and 21 seconds. And again, it's pretty much the same type of call, um, diversification with traffic accidents, breathing problems, falls, unconscious or fainting, and chest pains. Priority two calls are those calls in which someone calls for an ambulance, but it's not life-threatening. We're sending an ambulance out immediately. They're not necessarily responding with the lights and sirens, but we're, we're getting them out the door in those two minutes. And that was an average response time of eight minutes and two seconds. So on our transfer and discharge discussion, um, one of the most important things for the hospitals was is that they could get their patients discharged and out of the hospital to free up bed space so we could bring additional patients in from 911 calls. And we've worked hand in hand with the hospital. We've seen significant increase at Conway Regional of patients coming in there from regional referral sources that have then required us to then return some of those patients across the state um, after they've been discharged or taken back to a nursing home. So Conway Regional uh, this year has contacted us and we've um, completed 564 transports and Baptist Conway, we've completed 446. Response times by zip code. We, um, we broke everything down to, to accommodate for the zip code and the, and the area of Conway, but we again wanted to remind everyone in the room that when we put the system together first, we had about 30 days to put that system together for Conway. We didn't have a whole lot of time. And at the same time, we had the county that was needing ambulance service at, at once as well. So we were able to combine into one Conway Faulkner County system that supported each other. Um, currently, we have nine ambulances in service at this point today. Um, we operate 12 actual ambulance vehicles within the city and county. We have three supervisor ALS response units in which a paramedic um, is staffed and can respond with an ambulance or if an ambulance is not available. So that's really um, a sn quick snapshot of what's happened um, here this last year in Conway. And we think that we've met the mark and the expectations that. Uh, your group has put forward for us. What exactly does that map mean? Does that mean a common ambulance maybe one time went all the way to McCoy? Um, so this actually includes transfers and discharges back. So if our ambulance here was involved in one of those calls, they might have gone mutual aid there. They might have taken a patient back to a nursing home there. Um, it's just where our ambulance has actually traveled for calls, including hospital transfers. Council, do you have any questions? I just got a, I know, I got a comment. Uh, that that high volume day was I mean, that was pretty taxing on our on your employees when with nine ambulances. I mean, they were just nonstop going. Are they all right with that? Well. There's busy days, and then there's those, those really busy days. And I can't be prouder of the staff that works here um, in Conway, in the Faulkner County, and our leadership team with Sean and uh, Jared that are out there every day. You know, we have made a commitment to the community, and the employees that work here have followed that commitment, and they want to take care of the residents here. I mean, it's just not a job to them. It's, it's a task to make sure that each and every call is answered appropriately. Our integration with the fire department was, I think, single-handedly the best thing we've done for the city of Conway. Um, you had a fire chief and fire command that saw the need and had a vision of integration, and it's definitely come through for the residents of Conway in a very positive manner. So when we're busy and the fire department's busy, we're all working together to make sure that each and every patient's taken care of. I can say that y'all have integrated well with police and fire. Uh, your your employees that we bump into is just like running into Conway policemen or firemen. They're always uh, courteous. They're always professional on scene. And uh, council, I'd like to thank y'all for for voting to allow the uh, 
ambulance service to go in to Conway Fire Station. Chief Winter, thank you for, for looking forward because this is a win-win for the people of Conway and uh, in Faulkner County. So we're very pleased that you guys are here. Council, anything else? Any comments? I haven't heard anything. I haven't either, and I've seen their presence all over the city at different events. Um, Totesuck, I mean, just another example of the partnership, not only that you have with the city, but also that you have beyond that. Guys with the boots on the ground, did y'all see Chief Stress over this past weekend? I bet you did. <laughs> <laughs> I was there. You came through okay, it looks like. <laughs> Come yeah, on, come on. Yes. Seeing it. And if you ever want a tour of that thing, holler for Jared because for some reason I have assumed the toad suck responsibility. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and wow. I love every second of it. But but, <laughs> um, but 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 honestly, we treated on Saturday during the heat yeah. in Fox mm -hmm. 43 patients wow. inside. Oh, really? That. I'll give you another snapshot in time. At the same time, our citizens on the outside, our, our ambulances on the outside of Toad Suck responded to 61 calls. So there was 100 patients plus treated in the city of Conway by one of our ambulances on Toad Suck Saturday. Wow. Next year I'll be in Florida, and I won't be here for that. <laughs> but, uh, How convenient. But, huh? Seriously, that was a, a big footprint mm -hmm. that we, yeah. we took care of. That was a very exhausting day, and, and we loved every minute of it. I found out I can play doctor and, and get by with it, and, and, and it was a, a very taxing day on us. A fire department set up cooling stations mm -hmm. for us, and that was just a godsend to us, uh, believe it or not. And we was just, just, just one patient after the other one. It was a very, very good time taxing, and it gets to test our skills out there. Because uh, I don't have a doctor standing on my shoulder to tell mm -hmm. me what to do. I just get to play <laughs> and uh, and it was it was it was a lot of fun and and, and but but seriously that was a big event the heat mm -hmm. hurt us yes sir it was it was a bad bad hot day I heard yeah. I heard there were a lot of yes sir mm -hmm. 40, 43 of them so uh, I, and I met every one of those those wonderful citizens of Conway and to give you a history I'm a, I'm a citizen of the city of Conway I grew up here this is my hometown wow. so Good. so I'm not an out of towner like some of the other people in the building. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I'll quit before y'all y'all hire me for, for a birthday or something. But, but seriously, this is my hometown. If, if, you know, this they're responding to my house too. So I'm I'm, I'm glad you all voted for this. Um, couldn't say that I'm, I'm more proud to be working for Tapper or to have them here. So it's a good thing. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for responding. Like I've already said, with our police department, our fire department, Pafford, the folks in Conway get a or. The city is providing A plus mm -hmm. service to our citizens uh, as far as public safety. So, thank you to all those groups and thank you for presenting tonight. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you for the, the hospital that set up Toad Suck Days. You have a defibrillator in there, is that correct? Uh, yeah. Wow. We had four beds set up and two ICUs. Wow. Uh, and then we had paramedic and myself running it, so two paramedics running it, then the in there. And what was even funnier, if I could just throw it. Our mechanics that put this thing together for us, our construction crew. At one point in time, they came in. And I said, "Put gloves on, boys, because you're fixing to get to work." And they said, "What are we going to do?" I said, "I'll show you what to do." But anyhow, we had all hands on deck. So uh, there's two ICU beds, completely capable of doing the ICU thing that um, a regional yeah. could do, for instance, in the ICU. And then we had our four regular beds. All all six of them were filled at one point in time, and we had people in there. Yeah, yeah. So we had defibrillators. We have a full hospital plate that knows the equipment because he's the one that. that yeah, I mean, we have crash carts, ventilators, defibrillators, you know, pacemakers, everything that you would see in a hospital. Emergency. I thought you probably did, as well. It's very advanced, and um, that that unit gets to go all over the country. Um, we can put up anywhere from an eight bed field hospital up to thirty beds. Um, another thing that happened, you know, I don't want to stray too far, but last year we had a major hurricane hit Florida, and. Um, we were able to send an ambulance that was actually housed here in the city of Conway to the state of Florida to help them. They went with 25 of our ambulances to Florida, and um, we never saw any interruption in service here, any change. But um, we had an ambulance in, in Florida, in Fort Myers, Florida, with uh, that said the city of Conway, and we were represented there. And I, I felt that it was a good it was a good thing to get the people from here to be able to go and work in our field hospital in Florida and then work on the 911 ambulances down there. So. Um, we thank you all for allowing us the latitude to do that and to move vehicles around. 
Um, when the tornado hit Little Rock, we sent ambulances from here. Uh, we never had an interruption or a change in the response times. We took care of business. People came in that were off duty. And we like to do that because at some time, we're going to have a time of need. We hope that our surrounding communities, and if something very bad happened, that nationally we would get help to come here to our own home. So that's why we're really big when we're called. We will normally go help anyone that's in need. But thank Don't you. Keep that hospital in hope. We do. Um, it's in hope, it's and yeah, so it's it's a it's a great area for us to deploy. And Bert, you were Mr. Ledbury, you were chair of that committee, weren't you? Thank you. Good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Chief Winter, Chief Tapley. Thank you. And thank you, Clay. Thank you.